The, the field that we work in is called medical imaging. It's basically, we work with images that are captured in, uh, for medical purposes. There are two types of fundamental things that we do with these images that are uh, really important. One is the process called image registration, and the other one is called image segmentation. Segmentation is a technique for finding interesting things in images. In photographs, those interesting things might be faces, eyes. In medical images, those interesting things are usually anatomical structures. If we're looking at the heart, we might be interested in finding the different ventricles of the heart, the heart wall, the valves of the heart, etc. Image registration, on the other hand, is the problem of when we have more than one image of, say, the same scene or the same object, and now we're interested in being able to, to figure out what happens to these objects in these different frames. It may be the case that we've taken uh, an image of a patient before treatment has been applied, and we're using the follow-up images to see if there are changes in, uh, say, the tumor or the lesion, and using that to figuring out whether actually uh, the therapy is working or not. Some of the things that we're doing include building average models of organ systems, including the brain. This is where we take instances of the brain from many different individuals, register them together, and then use that to create a standard model of the brain. Organs of different kinds are able to change in shape and size, like the heart and the lung. So using image registration, the technologies that we've developed, we're able to track these changes. But we need to push further so that surgeons can get them interactively as fast as they're collecting an image. If we can improve this technology, make it faster, make it more commercializable, then we can really impact the lives of patients in many different diseases, many different areas of medicine.